Have you ever wondered whether you could print cool designs on your t-shirt at home? Well, now you can with this cool new tool from Xtool. This is the all new screen printing machine from Xtool and in this video, I'll be sharing my experience with this machine. I have no experience in screen printing, so I watched a ton of videos about traditional screen printing to make this video. However, I'm good with the laser and if you're a laser user, this video will give you an idea about what to expect, what you can do with the screen printer and help you decide whether you should get it. Welcome to Melopine Lasers, let's get started. In traditional screen printing, a fine mesh screen is coated with a photosensitive emulsion to block out ink. Then the design layer is placed on the emulsion layer and the screen is exposed to light or UV light. This hardens all the areas exposed to the light and then the left out emulsion is washed off which gives a stencil effect on the screen. This process is repeated for each layer in a multicolored design. As you can see, traditional screen preparation is quite tricky and a time consuming process. But this screen printing machine has made it so simple with the help of laser engraving. You get these screens made of fine stainless steel mesh that come pre-coated in a photosensitive emulsion on both sides. So there is no need to manually brush on the emulsion. Instead of using films or hand painting block out, you simply place the screen in a laser engraver. You create your design on your computer and then use the laser to blast away the emulsion coating precisely. This leaves behind a professional stencil effect with your design formed as open mesh surrounded by hardened emulsion. This idea is not completely new and some makers have tried and proved this technique. Xtool just put in the effort and made ready-made equipment for this process so that anyone with a laser can do screen printing. In contrast to the days required for traditional screen printing, the process is significantly short here, taking only a matter of minutes or hours. Once the screen is framed and engraved, it is installed on the Xtool printer. Ink is applied on top and a squeegee presses it through the open mesh areas onto the printing surface. For multicolor designs, this process repeats layer by layer. Now that you know how screen printing works, let's look at what you get with the Xtool screen printer kit. The main components you get are the main screen printing press and alignment parts, which include a sticky mat and a scale guideboard. You also get some pre-coated screen material, a squeegee, ink spatula, ink samples, easy stretch screen holding frames, and a printed setup guide. Note that the screens provided by Xtool have a unique stainless steel mesh design, unlike traditional fabric emulsion screens. The steel mesh enables precise laser engraving to remove the emulsion coating. A fabric screen would be damaged or torn by the laser, while the durable steel stays in shape even after engraving. The Xtool screens also incorporate extra padding along the edges that fit into the printer's frame system. This allows the screen to be tugged and stretched tight across the frame. Putting the printer together is quick and easy. The setup guide is very well written and has helpful diagrams for each step, so I'm not going to bore you with the assembly. I'll show you how I prepared my artwork for screen printing with my laser. First, I created the artwork in Lightburn. You can also import your existing designs into Lightburn and customize them further for the job. Talking about Lightburn, let me tell you about our Lightburn Masterclass course. Now I know what you might be thinking, is this just another course? Well, it's not. What makes this course different is the live weekly session and the one-on-one -on -one support we offer in the course. I'll leave the link in the description, do check it out. Now let's get back. Once I have finalized my design in Lightburn, I'll convert the design into SVG and import it into Xtool Creative Space. Then I'll choose the material as coated screen as I'm engraving on the emulsion screen. If you're planning for prints like Halftone, where you have to alter the design, you'll have to process the image externally and import the final design into XCS. You also need to rotate your design and flip it so that it's the right way up when you print it. With those steps completed, I'm ready to send the file to the laser. The screen printing mode automatically handles the proper speed and power settings for engraving the emulsion. But before you can engrave, you must put the emulsion screen on the frame. I'll place the screen on the frame and use these fixing pin to lock the screen in place. Now there are these quick release screw type things that you can lock into position and that will stretch the screen tightly across the easy stretch frame drum tight. Listen. It's crucial that the screen is fully stretched across the frame. Any sagging portions or loose areas will likely result in irregularities in the final print. With this frame, it's as simple as flipping a few of these, whatever they are. Once it's ready, I'll set it on my S1. 
X tool also sent me this alignment frame with the kit. Unfortunately, it's only compatible with X tool D1. You place the legs on these holes and then place the frame snug with the frame and you will be able to engrave exactly at the same position. This is particularly useful for multi-layer designs. On my S1, I place the frame snug with the inner walls of the machine and that does the job. If you're using any other laser, you could probably use some wood and make slots for the legs of your machine and use it as a jig to place the frame. Once the frame is in the machine, I'll let the design run. Xtool gave me some parameters to work with which was 285mm per second at 64% power with 22 lines per mm for my 40W S1. The 22 lines per mm line spacing looked like an overkill for me but I still went ahead with it and it took around 38 minutes for a 3.5 by 3.5 inch logo. Here you can see the laser engraves away all the other sieve coating for the areas I want ink to go through. Once the engraving is complete, you have the screen ready to print. Next, we have to install the frame on the press. You see these two notches here? These go into the screws inside here. Insert the frame into this part and you flip these levers and that's it. I have to say changing frames when you are working with multi-layer design would be really easy with this. The setup is easy to use and lets you quickly swap the screens. You would need multiple easy stretch frames for multi-layer designs though. This is because precise registration across multiple screens is nearly impossible to recreate accurately once an aligned screen set is taken off the frames. Even tiny deviations when restretching used screens will throw off careful positioning that ensures crisp color layering. The printer features a 60 degree hover hinge that floats the screen above the print area. This unique free pivoting orientation simplifies alignment and reduces ink spill since the screen isn't resting flat when not in use. So you can keep both your prints and workspace clean. Also the Z-axis auto press with its piston driven height adjustment provides convenience. By just turning a knob, you can perfectly adapt the screen position to different material thickness. The printer can accommodate items up to 60mm thick, perfect for shirts, trays, posters, cards and more. Place the item you want to print on the work table under the screen. If you want to micro adjust the object position relative to the screen, use the three turning knobs at the front of the machine. Once it's all set, it's time to add the ink. Carefully apply it along the top edge of the design. Then take the squeegee and in one smooth stroke, press the ink through the open areas of the mesh. And just like that, we have a perfect print. I used extra force on my first print and that tore the mesh. So do not press down on the squeegee much and you only need a little bit of ink for the print. Once you're done printing, hose down the screen with some water before the ink starts to dry if you want to reuse the screen. I even tried a multicolor print with a single layer where I used yellow and blue and let them blend giving me a gradient like fill. Xtool sent me some ink samples as well apart from red, yellow, blue and black. They sent golden, silver and also the glow in the dark ink. The good thing about the glow in the dark ink is that you can mix it up with other colors. However, they would still glow in green in dark no matter what color you mix. These inks dry in about 10 minutes so you'll need to wait for about 10 minutes between different layers. The ink is water based so it's easy to clean up. However, since they are water based, you need to wait for two days for the ink to cure before you wash them if you're printing on t-shirts. I also wanted to try a multi-layer design, so I went in with three color layers and got this. Something I didn't like with these screens is that it tears easily. Even a slight mess up in the speed and power settings will make the mesh weak. And when you take the squeegee to it, the mesh is pulled apart, which makes them unusable. Maybe this is because I'm using too much pressure on the squeegee because I haven't seen anybody else mention this. But I'm unsure whether you could get a lot of print done using one screen. Now after you're done with the screen, you wash it all off, remove the emulsion and then give it a fresh coat of emulsion and you will be able to use it again if the screen is not damaged. If you don't want to do the hard work, you can get new screens from Xtool. A pack of four screens will cost you around $25. What I think is if you have a laser and want to batch process customized stuff like t-shirts and cards, you can consider getting this screen printer. It's easy to make the screens with a laser and the screen printer is simple to operate. If you're excited about this machine, check out Xtool's Kickstarter campaign. The link is in the description below. You can get the complete starter kit for around $200, a good deal for such an innovative system. 
There are also expanded packages with multiple screens, ink variations, bundled laser machines and more. If you wish, you can back the campaign and be one of the early adapters to receive the screen printer. So that's all about the Xtool screen printer. If you found the video helpful, please leave a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider subscribing to watch cool stuff about lasers. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.